Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes! We're now here in the Sanctuary Station. Then we gotta delve a little bit deeper, even going into the Dark World a little bit. Because there is one special thing that we really need to get by the end of this. It's probably the most important thing that we can get. Because when we get it, it's gonna open up a lot of the world around us. Gravity suit. We've already got the gravity suit. Damn it. Uh... An anti-hacking gun. Speaking of which. I would really like that, but we're good, we're good. Reboot, reboot, reboot. Yeah. Oh, Does, okay, I just noticed that small detail. It shows everything that needs to be rebooted. Does she reboot every single item you have collected so far, and then does the animation change when you collect new items? That would be a neat detail. Retro, I'm thinking of you. I know your programmers are, are awesome. So what I found is when these things are starting to hack you, you can't lock onto them. However, if you shoot them enough times, you know, freely, that should be able to shake them off. Oh, you can shake them off. Okay. It's, See, I, it's a little hard to do. Yeah, I thought it was just a one and done thing. It's not too bad, though. Oh, nice. Super missiles are highly, highly effective against them. Yeah, you were mentioning the super missiles are kind of the way to go for this one. I agree. They're really telling you to rely on them a lot more. Alright, so... Time to there's, dead. A yeah. thing, there's uh, some kind of reactor going on over there. This is the uh, mi the mini gyro chamber. Let's, let's so get... amber, cobalt, crimson, emerald. A C C A C C R. You remember that? Let's go. All right, yeah, let's go. Let's dead space this bitch. Let's get your way up in here. There's four separate bomb slots. Oh, amber. Yep. What's next? Uh, cobalt. I always forget what color cobalt actually is. After that, besides cobalt, uh, crimson. So basically, you get amber first, and then go all, go all the way to the right, and then make your way left. And then emerald. Make sure that the gyro stops spinning before you move to the next one. <laughs> Whoa, look there at the straight go. line, yeah! We know colors, we know colors, yeah, 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 colors. This area is called the Hall of Combat Mastery. Oh my god, that's awesome. Got a few more mechs in here, they're, they're, they're really looking for us. So the Luminoth were actually skilled at combat? Or at least some of their champions were? Well, sure, sure they were. They were really skilled. So they were able to, to fight the Aang for this long. Yeah, But then the right. Aang kind of overtook all their territory and stole all their energy, and that right. kind of, well, messed them up. And not to mention the fact that they can turn Luminoth against one another. What a bunch of backstabbers. What a bunch of backstabbing backstabbers. How dare they. So it's good to destroy the head first on these things. Because if you destroy the body first, the head will still live, and it could attach to other bodies that we see around here. I think that kind of applies for most things you fight. Just aim for the head. Well, yeah, I mean, one super missile always takes out the head. You gotta try a little harder for the body, so it's good to just take out the head first. You should have gone for the head. Should always go for the head. Always go for the head. Come on, Thor. So we have here an actual portal. Ooh, straight to the dark world. Straight to the dark world. There's a, there's quite a few things we gotta find here. <laughs> yes. There's a, there's a door we need to open with the help of you know, being in the dark world here. You know. Yeah. But first, we gotta get a missile expansion over over uh, over uh, on some elbow of the map. Hmm. Maybe we'll hit the funny bone. Maybe the tibula. So tibia, that's me. the way we're supposed to go. Through there. Yeah, screw it. There's a door over there, though. We're gonna go there first. Got these things here called ingworm caches. It's just a whole bunch of ingworms huddled around some kind of item. Ew. It's it's gross. They are defenseless. Got a bad case of ingworm. It's all up in my hair and everything. <laughs> oh, take a bath, man. Come on. This is the hazing pit. <laughs> over here is where I. What's that? Oh no, it's a Dark Talon Metroid! Yes! The Metroids have now been... They're infused with the dark energy of Dark Aether. Woo! Oh, they're fascinated by Metroids and their connection to Phazon. It's not a shared fascination, as Metroids will attack Ing on sight. Recognizing their strength, Ing Darklings have possessed a number of Metroids, turning them into powerful soldiers of the Horde! Uh -huh. They're Ing <laughs> Metroids! Even the Ing are using Metroids! <laughs> Ah! This is bad! Bad, bad, bad! Die! Die! A hundred kinds of die! 
<laughs> oh, I kind of love that. That the, the Metroids, they take no sides unless the enemy forces them to take a side. The only side they take Whoa. is not being hungry. So this is one of the uh, drones that the Ing have taken over. This is a Dark Diligence drone. Dark Diligence doesn't die, drone. Doubtful. <laughs> Just a uh, charged light beam shuttle to take care of those Ooh. guys, no problem. They're basically like those... They're kind of like the, these old uh, Metroid Prime 1 enemies. They kind of just look like electric fans. Yeah, sort of. Getting a nice breeze while you're getting static shock. It's another missile expansion, because we're going to need a lot of them. We need we need lots of missile expansions, because we need a lot of super missiles. We have 160 total missiles. We're actually getting close to the end. We There are, I think, 255 missiles. Okay, never mind. 100 away. That was, that was missile expansion 30 of 49, so... Wait, what? It's just there? It's just there, but we can't get there. Oh. Why not? I like how they turn into a wall decoration, though. But I guess. But yes, that is our first temple key for the Sanctuary Fortress. And we can't get there yet. Ugh, I hate how it crawls up the wall. It kind of reminds me of how the X worked. Like, you killed them the first time, and then they just kind of move to a different area and respawn as a different enemy. I'm gonna see if I can't get some beam energy back here. Dang. These ingworm caches are usually pretty nice, but sometimes they can be really stingy. I don't I know. When, I hate when they're stingy. You're getting a pretty good amount of ammunition from yeah, them. We're, yeah, we're doing okay. Having those beam expansions really help, too. So, we're now heading to the upper level of the fortress. What lies in wait? Besides more caches. Well, more death, I'm sure. Mmm, in cashews. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of dark just for while it didn't work. Okay, we're good. Got plenty of ammo. Let's see what we got here. We're here at the Hive Dynamo Works. That just sounds cool. All the areas in this place just sound cool. There's a grapple beam area, but we got some of these uh, nice, lovely little bats here giving us some problems. This is also a good way to get some health and some beam energy back. Yeah, this just seems tailor-made to get all your ammo back. Nice little recharge area. I just hate that you have to use light or dark ammo to get light or dark ammo. Yeah, it's it's a little convoluted and a little unwelcome, I'm, I, I I admit. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, you, there we go. <laughs> It's, good, it's a good idea to kill them all first, otherwise you might lock onto them instead of locking onto the grapple beam. <laughs> or, can... you might lock onto the grapple beam without locking onto them! I kinda love that, it's just like, oh look, a fly! <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> there we go. So we could go through the white door, but there's no way through. Hmm. It's a bit of a dead end, so we gotta use a seeker missile for these over oh, here. Oh wow, I wouldn't even have thought of that! Get rid of that guy first. What's your hint to, to use the... Seeker missile over there. Mostly, I mean, besides using the thermal. It's bison. mostly scans, and I think those uh, purple circles around there might help too. Oh, that's a light world portal. Yes, it is. Take me back. It's about all we're going to be in the dark world for today. Oh, well, short lived, but we'll be back. At least we now know where one of the temple keys is. Yeah, we do. So keep that keep that in mind. Now we got to get the thing that we need in order to get that temple key. This is a dead end, there's no way back. So we have to go forward. Ah, here we are. These are regular diligence class drones. Kind of look like, what were they, bomboos? Sorta, of, yeah. Morphos, bomboos, something or other. Those Metroid Prime 1 enemies that did the, the exact same thing that they do now. They did the thing, yeah. Well, I could try and jump over there, but uh, we gotta go underneath. Scam oh hello! Guys. It's the Mech Clops. They make a they make a return <laughs> just to aggravate you. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, and this is even Luminoth designed, if I read that correctly. But it's okay. Well, it would be. Except they you're, they you're still have a very magnetic jaw. P Patui. But uh, a fleshy backside. So th there's a if you uh, enter Morph Ball wrong. You could change the camera angle so that way it's facing the other way. I don't recommend that. It's good to go forward and see the Mechlops coming in your way, so that's good. But hey, we did it. 
And now, this is the main gyro chamber. Whoa! Here is the core of the planet. Let's oh. Get, let's get in the service entry. God, this area is just so cool. I know, right? <laughs> Looky there! Uh, loading. There we go. Oh! A nice open save station. Can you actually jump off the ledge? You certainly can. <laughs> How long did it take you to test it? Like, did you immediately just go, nah, all right, let's I mean, give this a try. What'll it do? You'll just jump off and warp back right up there. Just reminds me of Breath of the Wild, the first cliff I came to. Is this idiot-proof? Nope, not idiot-proof. No, it's not. All right, new type of Zelda game, got it. All right, so put in this bomb slot. That opens Ooh. up this little puzzle for you here. You gotta connect the, the red lines so it goes straight through, and the green lines so it goes straight through. Basically just that, up, left, then left, right. Oh, God, the I love those puzzles. That's easy. Oh, that was cool. All right. That opens up a second bomb slot. For another puzzle. This is the most important part. Because this slows the outer ring of the reactor. Platform? Platform. <laughs> oh, God, we're going to have to shut down an entire reactor just to get across the room. Well, this is a bad place anyway, so if we shut it down, it's a good thing. Don't do it. No, no. Make our way over here to this area. There we go. You're good. And then, well, slide to this part right here, and we open up a little shortcut to get us onto this area. Hey, look at there. God, I love how the, all the maps work together. And it makes it so you don't have to take the arduous way around every single time. So we're heading up first. Another puzzle? Nope, door. Because we're we gotta make our way to the temple. That's like the first thing we gotta do in these areas. Okay, 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 check it, check it. Seeker One, missile, right? One, two, One, two three, three, four. four. And BAM. That opens up a kinetic uh, uh ball cannon down there so you can get back up here. But there's gonna be a mech that's gonna show up, so gotta come down here and then quickly Yeah! Oh shoot, that's actually cool! Swag shot! Doors lock until you kill it, so that's a good quick kill strategy. Do you get that from a speedrun? Or you just happened to do it accidentally? I, it just happened to work. <laughs> so here we are. This is the temple. Oh. It's like they're tearing down the temple and putting their own ing crap all over it. Oh, yeah, they are. And speak, oh, great. Yeah, speak the, of the devil. Yeah, yeah, well, the ing are kind of probably onto us now. You're shutting down some things. So what they do is they take these couple of mechs that are down here and turn them into their dark form. This is the Dark Quad MB and the Dark Quad CM. Hmm. CM... CMMB. For the head. MB is the body, CM is the head. Hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I forgot they're two separate pieces. Yep, that's why I say I always go for the head. Let me guess, just more attack power, more defense. The, yeah, us the usual You say thing. that, but the super missile still kind of works pretty effectively against the head. I mean, Tink. well. <laughs> Tink. <laughs> I actually love that. It that still kind of works the same way. It's just they're a little more stronger and a little bit more aggressive. And, there, and there's the head there. Oh, it free floats after it dies. Super missile still works effectively, even the dark versions. But now this head is going to reattach to the body. And hey, <gasps> I guess I showed off. But hey, super missile takes care of that. No problem. That is actually nice. <laughs> That is cool enemy design. Get rid of the body of one and the head of the other? Well, just reattach those two. Beyblade. Let it rip! Let it rip and blow it up. Yes. All right. Now let's uh, take a look at the energy controller here. Get our orders from the last remaining Luminoth who was here before he died. I honestly thought that floor was open, so I thought you were going to fall down a bit. <laughs> nope, it's glass. It's fine. It's all fine. Well, except all this. It's all- this is all terrible. Oh, well, yeah, and for the floor situation, yes, it's all fine. But this- this just feels like that they're building a stadium over a park! It's terrible! Capitalism must be stopped. The Ing shall not build their mega mall over the Ma and Pa shops. 
Did we just teleport? No, it's okay. what we always do. It just looked a little odd. It's just a subtle loading screen to open up this part of the energy controller. Okay, here we go. Alright, this is our last translator module that we're gonna get. Raise hear the words of O'Lear, last sentinel of the Fortress Temple! Raise the roof! May they serve you well and raise the roof in a maximum jovial manner. Hmm. This used to be a great fortress, a safe haven for our people during the war. It also holds portals to the Ing Hive, the heart of their dark tribe, which explains why everything is so terrible here. We made a big oopsie. During the war, I built a number of mechanical sentinels to join me in battle. Oh, he what you effectively did was built a horde for them. Yeah, he's a machinist. Cool. Fight them they did for a time, and then they turned evil, and now they serve the Aang instead of us. The Aang corrupted them, now they attack with no mercy. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I love the raised stakes of the Metroid games. It's just like, no, this person wasn't defeated. He was killed by his own machines. Expect them when you are in the hive. The Aang like to use them as guards. I've already fought a few! Trust me! Ha ha! Hey hey And hold on, when we remake Metroid Prime 2, here's where we insert a witty quip, just to show that Samus is extremely unlikable. Sarcastic eye roll, and then, really? This dead moth's gonna tell me what to do? Got it. We have just nailed how to ruin the Metroid franchise. Ugh. What are your thoughts on quippy dialogue? I have thoughts. Mainly, don't overdo it. I love quippy dialogue. I love quips. Quips are great. Oh, I make quips. Really? I make quips myself. Quips are great. But <laughs> that's a big but. They have to be well written. Yeah. If it's poorly written, it doesn't work. Yeah. Quips, I love quips. Because think about the implications as to what happens when the quips stop. <laughs> what happens when the quippy character stops making quips? That means it's super serious and it's character depth. And that's just one example, really. Yeah, one of my favorite things is when the quippy character never stops making quips, which means they were never in any danger to begin with. Aegon Falls, new bit of lore here. Ooh, yeah. This is about when things are starting to get really fucking bad. A massive ink attack came to the land of Aegon. Soon the Temple of Aegon was surrounded by the Horde, with no hope of salvation. Mm -hmm. Our gallant warriors there were slain, and Aegon fell to the enemy. Our blood chilled when we learned that the energy within that temple was drained. The Ying have found the energy transfer module, and we're using it as a weapon against us. This is where they find out, oh crap, we're gonna lose this war. These guys are terrible at tower defense games. But, but, but quippy dialogue, you know. It's, <laughs> it's present doesn't mean it's bad, it's overuse doesn't mean it's bad. Just know what it means and the kind of tone you're trying to set. A little bit of quip goes a long way, but if everybody's quipping all the time, then it's just annoying as hell. Yeah, the lovely comparison. I hate when people say that, you know, they called MCU quip dialogue and they called Whedon-esque. First of all, everyone talks about, like, Whedon hasn't been involved in anything since 2015, basically. The quips have gotten better, I swear. And watch rewatching Avengers 1 over again, it's kinda oof. Depends on where you're looking, if you're saying the quips have gotten better. I like the quips. What can I say? I like quips! I make quips! I make quips myself! I, I think you should play a game that's nothing but quips. Do you want to borrow for Spoken? Shh. Do you have it? No, I don't! <laughs> I'll play that piece of crap if it's for free, sure. <laughs> and surprisingly high on life doesn't annoy me as much. Because the difference is, is that one's well written and one's not. Eh, debatable on whether High on Life is actually well-written. Do you laugh at it? Yes. It's well-written. Oh, yeah, good point. Still can't believe people compared High on Life to Forspoken. D the difference is, is that the, the quips in Forspoken aren't well-written and they don't match the character too well. The quips in High on Life are kind of funny because they're irreverent. I think my favorite part about playing the Forspoken demo is I actually posted a clip where the game became somewhat self-aware and said, it wasn't really necessary to say that, and it's just like, Nope! It wasn't! <laughs> Surprisingly! Alright, well, we're about to uh, come across a uh, pretty infamous boss now. Ooh, boss time! It is boss time. Oh, I'm down. That's right. Yeah, show me. I've been enjoying the bosses, especially uh, now that you're in new, uh, haven't beaten it territory. Well, this one's a pretty tough one. 
It depends on who you ask, though. And there, oh, there. And there he is. This is the best time to scan him. That's, a, wait, that's the boss? That's the boss. It's the Spider Guardian. He's so small. He is so small. Oh. Spider Ball Powered Darkling. Tucker uses Spider Ball Power to cling to walls. It seems to have a connection to the energy system in the area. Overexposure to energy may disrupt it. Ooh. So this is a puzzle boss of sorts. Oh, yay! I like puzzle bosses. Check it out. <gasps> you get to fight it on its own turf! So he's going to be going in this one little area, this one little track. We need to get inside of that bomb slot, and that's going to open up that little that uh, oh, little door there. Cool. So it runs in the phase on. Thing is, though, we have to hit him with with morph ball bombs a few times in order for him to get weak enough in order for the bomb slot to open. So oh. he's got three phases of this. He's got this blue force field phase where he's going kind of you know medium medium speed, but he's got a lot of range on that force field of his, and that force field you know can be. Pretty hurdy. Nice hit. Hit, nice him, hit. hit him enough times he then turns red, so he speeds up. But his oh. force field doesn't reach as far. The idea now is to hit him again a few times so he turns green. Because when he turns green, that's when the bomb slot opens up. You can cheese a little bit by kind of dropping one here and hoping that the splash from the morph ball bomb kind of hits him. Seems its blast radius is a bit bigger than the There blue we one. go. So he does that, the bomb slot opens up, and you have a limited amount of time to get up there. So, uh, see his green is moving slower now, but his force field is now bigger. You open that, door opens, and then BAM! Right into open phase on, which it really can't take. What phase an, one down. What an interesting boss, because most of the things that take on phase on, they, they kind of really like it, and it's extra power, but not this guy. You can get overcharged with phase on, though. Oh, maybe that's why a lot of creatures were having a bad time with it. Especially the, uh, what, what were they, the Omega Pirates? Yeah. Alright, alright, yeah, bring it. Bring these, are, it. these are also Ings, so they're probably a little bit used to it a bit more. But that, still, that e even sense. still, concentrated phase on is, is no joke. <laughs> probably still gonna be a little hurdy. Ow, ow, ow. Dash. <laughs> Ooh, could that work? Could you blast it through the little wall there? Or no? Nah, that doesn't... But what we can do is kind of drop some bombs on the way down. I'm going too fast on this. Uh... Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay. For real this time. Wait, here we go. Come back around. He's got to get the perfect yep, yep, yep. timing. And... Nope. Oh, wait. Wait. Yeah. Well, uh, wait, that didn't work? I think I hit him once, but not enough. So, do you have to hit it with multiple bombs in order to change its color? Yeah. Just enough Ow. times to get him weak enough so that way the bomb slot opens up. Okay. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. For real. That's for fine, real. it's fine, yep. it's fine! Hey, that did it! Okay, we got it. Bomb slot's open. When the bomb slot opens up, sometimes platforms open up too. Oh, I didn't even Shit. see that. Shit, hurry, yep. hurry. Go, oh, go, go. Oh, well, I, I, I fucked it. And this is how you found out that it opens for a limited time. I fucked it. It's fucked. But what you can do is you can bomb it a few more times to extend it a little bit. I was wondering about that. Okay, cool. That resets the clock a little bit. When he's in that green area, that that, that green force field, that's mm -hmm. what makes it open. If you don't hit him enough times, he'll turn <laughs> red like this. <laughs> but yeah. keep hitting him when he's green and he'll keep that door open and there ah. you go. All right, phase two complete. Oh, you have to hit him five times? Weird. I'm just seeing how much health is actually being taken every time it hits phase on it. Looks like that's a that's a five time boss fight right there. All right, phase three. Here we go. Ooh, what a weird pattern. Best way to get him, I find, is is right at the end, right at the top of the half pipe there. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Just like just like that. You can also come up here. When he comes around, you can drop down and get him that way. You can press yeah. the X button to zoom in and zoom out. I recommend zooming out when you need to see the whole picture, but zoom in when you're doing stuff, because it's kind of hard to see from all the way back here. Uh, so, here we go. When he comes around... Drop the bombs! Yeah! Yeah! When he comes back up, drop some more! Oh, it didn't work. But it would have been cool if it did. Oh, I thought you were meaning the other part of the track. No. Alright, coming and around again. Push, 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 push. Yeah! Okay, for some reason I thought there were platforms there at the... At the bottom there. There oh, are. Oh, nice! So down, oh, there we down, go. down, and then up like that. And there you go. Mission accomplished. Now we just chill. 
You gotta, gotta go on track. All right, not bad. We are now halfway done. Six. All right, we are halfway done. Going along with the theme of these bosses take way too long to kill. Where is he going? Where'd he go? Huh. Well, here we are at the final phase of the boss fight. The game throws you a bone and gives you 150 energy to refill. Oh, very, thank you. Very nice. Because now we're in for the long haul. This is the final room, and this is where the rest of it is going to take place. <laughs> That's so cool. So, first phase here. And fuck him up. Just to hit him with a whole bunch of bombs there and eventually turn green, and when he does that, the bomb slots open. Get this one. Okay, nice change. Nice change. That opens up this door here, so he can go over... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go straight to you, yeah. There Boom. we go. All right. Two more times now. I can't even see how you need to change the arena. So... Does the arena hit change him every more time? more times. Hit him a few more times. Hmm... Up, still red. All right. Yep. Now we have to hit two bomb slots at the same time. Where's the other? Oh, there it is. Quick, quickly. Okay. There we go. Ow, 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 ow. And bomb up here. I'm gonna bomb a few more times to get a little bit extra time, but I don't think it's gonna work out for me too well. Uh, no, it didn't. Did it just push that platform? Nope. Time ran out, and everything reset. What? There was yep. barely any time. Well, we need to get more time. Oh. All right. They're open again. This is why it's a good idea to zoom in, because otherwise you can't see where you're bomb jumping. Oh, is that what's what, what I'm seeing here that's, in real time? That's what's happening here, yes. <laughs> okay. That's all right, we can just get a little <laughs> just, bit of extra. I was about to say, get up close and personal. Boom, 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 boom. That'll give us a little bit of extra time so we can jump up here and then jump up, up here. there. And then I zoom in a little bit just for this. Oh, no, no! Just, just for it to close. Oh, it just closed on me. Shit, it took too long. All right, I'm done with this. I'm spanking this guy. <laughs> Time for the big spank. All right, that that one's taken care there of. There we go. A few that, more bombs just to get them in there. That seems like how you're Kay. supposed to do it. Ah! What the hell? He's got a long range on that force field of his. I guess. Get up! 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 Go! 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 Please, Zoom in. Please. Yes. You, you can roll down that ramp if you're not careful. Oh, ew! Whoop. Don't like that. Pink. And then... Into that Ding. one. One more to go. And you have three. I saw three the third bomb slot. Three bomb slots. Yep. Okay. Awesome. But now that we, ha we know the tactic of bomb him to re-up the time, I think that can help us out. So. There's one. Let's get a few more hits on him and bully him some more. <laughs> the year of all the bullying. Okay. There's... Get some oh, more. I thought it was Big Bad Red. Get some more time. Zooming Boink. in a little bit uh, so I can see better. Go. Need to be precise here. Yep, wait. Uh, speaking okay, of precise. there's two. Dos. There's two. There's two. Let's bomb him again. Yep, yep. Bomb him again. Bully. Bomb All again. the bully. All right. That's good. That's good. Bomb some more. Bomb some more. If you miss, bomb again. Yep, that's the bomb stuff. That's the good All bomb right, stuff. Good. Yep. You're running so low on energy, my dude. Oh, we're good. Because it's over. Uh, oh. What? As soon as I get up there. As as I, I, oh I didn't god, even oh god, there was get up there, get up there, get up there. Can you please? <laughs> Woo! Got it! We did it! Can you please yes! not, not care me like that? We got it! We got it! Ding, ding! Back! Ding. And gone! To some people, this boss is really hard. To some people, it's trivial. I think it's a little bit of in-between. But I think using the, the trick of bomb him when he's green to get more time on the bomb slot is certainly what helps. I'm glad we didn't have to do three extra puzzles. I mean, technically we did, seeing as how we had to hit three different bomb slots, but it, it, that was that was actually pretty good. I thought we were going to have to do six separate. We did. But, well. Just three of them were, it was a three-part puzzle for the three, last Three-parter, three but... Yeah. Whatever, we got the spider ball now! Yay! Finally! The map has now opened up I was to, about to, say, a, yeah. to a crazy degree now. We have seen spider ball tracks everywhere. That's right. We're going to have to go. We got to do a lot of backtracking when we get down to it. But uh, now a bunch of pill bugs have shown up. It's very nice of them. We can show off the new spider ball. Yeah, we can avoid them all. 
Still got to use bombs to lurch up and all that. So what opens the yellow door? That seemed like they wanted you to have the exit for the yellow door. Why are you worried about the yellow door? We got the spider ball. That's what's important right now. Because we can use it to get up to new places we haven't been to yet. Like uh -huh. up here. Okay. Where there's a missile expansion. Oh, perfect. And a way out from the looks of it. And a way out. <laughs> yes. Plunk. Beginning? This is right where the light portal was. Yes! Then we can get back up there if we need to. But we'll save that for later. I'm gonna head back to the save station. I think we've uh, done enough for today. Yeah, we beat Spider Guardian. We went to the Dark World once. I'd say that's a pretty good day's work. And now we can do stuff like this. <gasps> yes, show me. Just Lovely. right over the wall. Lovely. Yes. Oh, that's, that's nice. That is that is good. That's the stuff you mm -hmm. like to see in your Metroid game. That's, that's, that's the makings of the bread and butter of a Metroidvania <laughs> right there. And I love bread and butter on my Metroidvania. Let me tell you what, son. <laughs> Goes great with Metroid soup. Oh, my mama's Metroid soup. <laughs> you wouldn't even live till you talk about my, my grandma's Metroid soup. Uh, she told me the Metroid dreaded I say, hey, Metroid, don't worry about it. <laughs> I love Before the Before we eat, we all sat down. I was like, hey, let's have some dinner. Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> Here we go. Well, next time on Metroid Prime 2, we're going to explore more of San of uh, Sanctuary Fortress, get a few more uh, upgrades and stuff like that. It's going to be a time. Ah, <sighs> feel that energy. Kind of want to jump off here, though. Yep. Here we go. Kind of want to. Here we go. Just take a leap. Leap yeah, I like, of faith. I like, I like this skybox. It's really nice cityscape. Ooh. Is, this, is this where Luminous lives? Did they, they, they live in like a fucking metropolis or something like that? That's cool. Wow. Okay. okay. Well, let's save go this visit. place. Ow. It'd be cool if we could jump over to those places, though. Ow. Like, what's over there? Oh, we'll never know. Ah. See you next time.